Five years after a car barreled through Taurus in Times Square, killing a teenager and terrifying the city, the man behind the wheel is finally standing trial. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was in the courtroom. Video from different angles shows the car driven by Richard Rojas barreling through pedestrians in crowded Times Square back on May 18, 2017. We're stopping the video before impact. Photos of the injured taken at Bellevue Hospital were shown in court Tuesday. Ava Elsman, then 13, was severely hurt. Her sister, 18 year old Alyssa Elsman, was killed. Ava, now 18, detailed her struggle to recover physically and mentally. She suffered broken ribs, a broken leg, and a collapsed lung. Tuesday, her mother broke down on the stand. The family from Michigan had been here on an annual trip. I remember kind of flipping over a car um, and hurting my back. Michael Lillenstein also plans to take the stand. He was walking back to his office after grabbing lunch when he was struck by the car. One individual was right next to me to my right. He was bleeding all over. I got hit kind of dead on, uh, and, but I came away with almost... <laughs> No injuries, uh, no permanent in just injuries, a little back pain and some stitches on my elbow. It took some time to kind of get over this fear of just, you know, getting hit by a car. Suspect Richard Rojas was 26 years old at the time. Video shows his apprehension after he crashed his car and ran out. Prosecutors say he told the traffic agent that day, quote, I wanted to kill them all. At the time, authorities said he told police he had been smoking marijuana laced with PCP. The defense argues the now 31-year-old has a history of mental illness and that this is a case about a 26-year-old who lost his mind. Rojas has pleaded not guilty to murder, assault, and other charges. Other victims who were also seriously injured are expected to take the stand. In Times Square, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.